Remember the days when you can get something good guaranteed in a cheapish box of cards? Well, those days are long gone. Or are they? There's lots of back here as we crack into 2022's Panini Absolute Baseball Blaster Box that, for only the low price of entry, you can get an autograph or a memorabilia card, which is pretty cool. It's it's hard to uh, it's hard to give up that one, even though I'm not a big fan of baseball. Um, so here we see Albert Pujols. Maybe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Not sure of the St. Louis number fives. Um, and various other players with their team logos photoshopped out because I guess Panini didn't have the rights to the teams uh, and only the players. So, what can we get in here? Let's, uh, let's open up the box and hope we get something cool because we can get players uh, player autographs from guys like uh, Kyle Hendricks, Taylor Walls, and Mitchell White from the Absolute Inc. series. Uh, there are actually a ton of other autographs from guys like Sandy Koufax, Shohei Otani, uh, Pete Rose, Ronald Acuna, and Nolan Ryan, uh, and all that good stuff. And and, <laughs> um, uh, and and honestly, it's not worth going through um, because I've only got one blaster box here. So the odds of me actually getting anything like uh, a good autograph in here are slim. So here's the fat pack. Decidedly fat. So here's basically the memorabilia card. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of figuring that uh, as as these boxes go, you're typically typically going to get the memorabilia card rather than uh, the autograph. So um, again, I could go through the top names there, uh, but let's just call it now. I don't think I'm getting any top tier player, and the most likely outcome uh, is that I get like a worn taint area of an umpire's underwear. Um, I also don't know baseball at all, um, so I'll probably be extremely confused to whether the guy I did get was any good. So sorry for that. I promise to stop buying baseball stuff. This is like the last baseball thing that I have, by the way. Um, so we got Atlanta. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. One of the better players. You can check out the back here. Number 30. Very cool. Steve Carlton. Pittsburgh. Uh, Cabrine Hayes. Cabrian Hayes. Uh, rookie class. Vidal Bruhan. And is this a insert? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cool. Oh. Well, that's instantly devalued. Salvador Perez. Nolan Arenado. And Bill Mazeroski. Maybe. Maybe. Um, there's lots of parallels in here. There's hollow silver number to 199, along with a rainbow of spectrums, uh, number from 149, all the way down to one on one, one of ones, I should say, uh, with a black spectrum, which I argue isn't part of a spectrum. It's more like a lack of spectrum, but, uh, you know, whatever. It's been in here, right? Got Gil Hodges. He's definitely not playing anymore, and he could be dead. Got pretty good numbers. I was trying to see what year he's played, but uh, do not find that. But Merrifield, and we've got an insert of icons. Molina. Very cool. Of St. Louis. And we've got another Hallworthy from Arizona, Randy Johnson. We've got a ton of inserts in here, actually. And we've got, statistically speaking, Trevor Story of Boston. Aaron Nola, which is not <laughs> Nolan Ryan, and Brandon Lowe. Are they any other inserts in there? No, these are all base. That one, that one was a stacked pack, including this legend card, but uh, that's just an average card, I suppose. Now damaged all the cards inside the pack. Jose Ramirez. Jonathan India. Sammy Sosa. Very cool. Good rookie class of Hans Krebs. Definitely a bad guy from a Bond movie. Jose, 
Giancarlo Stanton, and Mike Trout. J.D. Martinez, Corey Seager, and a cool... Wow! Holy... Oh, wow. Did not expect that. Uh, wow. Rafael Devers, 8 out of 10. Holy smokes. Wow. I was not expecting anything, and... Uh, I got fire. Holy shit. Wow. All right. Definitely the highlight of the uh, blaster box. It's been sitting here for about a year, too. Well, maybe not a year, but it's been sitting there for a while. We got Extreme Team. Oh, Shay. Toronto. The, uh... Very cool. We've got um, a parallel. Jazz Chisholm. Green parallel. Probably one of the lower parallels since it's not numbered. Got Trey Mantini and Matt Olson. Wow. We still didn't get to the memorabilia card yet. That is crazy. Wow. Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, can you imagine getting him? Brian Reynolds. We got Randy. And, oh boy, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. We got Randy. Not numbered, but like. I'm not seeing a number. I don't know what, what parallel that might be, but it looks really cool. Put that right next to Rafael. Nolan Arenado, icons. Oh, okay. So apparently this was a parallel. Very cool. Rookie class. Green parallel. Luis Gil. Perhaps Luis. Don't know. Carl. And Paul Koschmidt. Alrighty. It's time to get this memorabilia card or autograph or something out of the way. Got a really, really good blaster box. And uh, this can either make it crazy good, knocking it out of park, or just make it stand as a decent, good pack blaster box. Uh, Ozzy Albies, Aaron Judge. We'll save that one for. We've got, statistically speaking, Manny Machado. Nice. Seeing who's behind it. I like it. By Storm. Shohei Otani Green Parallel. Very cool. Got Manny Machado again. Babe Ruth. Wow, okay. That's a very cool card. And did I get two Aaron Judges, or did I just recycle? Ken Griffey, Matt Olson. Oh, I think I just recycled. Whoops. And the card that we have. Slow rolling it. JC, who, who starts with a J and a C? Jazz Chisholm? Nah, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, he could be, like, one of the best players in Detroit, but boy, do I not follow baseball and uh, so I, I could not tell you whether this guy's awesome or not but I now have him oh, wow out of 99 40 out of 99 not his jersey number 6 off uh, Heimer Cal Candelario <laughs> Boy. I'm going to be raked over Coles for uh, the pronunciation of like 90% of the guys here but wow what, what a beautiful looking card very, very decent size patch. Got numbered. It's shiny. 
And I've got Raphael down to 10 here. Wow, what a blaster box. What else could I ask for? Um, not much for the money. Anyway, um, so what did you think of the break? What were your favorite pulls? Did you get better cards than I did? Uh, what boxes would you like to see me crack open next? Leave a comment, let me know, and thanks for watching, and well, good luck in your next break. Thank you.